All right, in this lesson, we're going to look at how to use special triangles, uh, which are the 30, 45, and 60 degree special triangles, to solve trigonometric problems. Um, if you want to review the special triangles, which are here and here, you might want to look at the uh, 2.1 lesson 2 lesson, where we looked at how to come up with those measurements. Um, but what we're going to do in this lesson is extend beyond 30, 45, and 60 degrees to triangles that have those as, or angles that have those as reference angles. So getting out of the grade 10 or just the typical right angle triangle. Uh, stuff. So in order to, to solve trigonometric problems using special triangles without a calculator, so the focus is doing all of this stuff without a calculator because we have our special triangles, uh, one of the necessary things is that the reference angle must be either 30 degrees, 45 degrees, or 60 degrees because those are the special triangles we know. And secondly, the trigonometric ratios must use the side lengths of the special triangles. Uh, and finally, the other important thing, which I think was in uh, section 2.2, <clears throat> is to always consider in which quadrants the trigonometric ratios are positive or negative. And that has to do with uh, these things here, which we looked at. They're all positive in quadrant 1. Only sine is positive in quadrant 2. Tan is positive in quadrant 3. And only cosine positive in quadrant 4. That helps us to check if our ratio is going to be appropriate. So this question says, determine the exact value of sine 150 degrees. Um, 150 degrees is, does not fit within a triangle. However, we can use its reference angle. So if we use, if we think about a standard position angle being 150 degrees, its reference angle, which we uh, have looked at previously, is 30 degrees. So here's 150 degrees, but we know that its reference angle is 30 degrees. So if we use that reference angle, and here's the reference triangle, uh, if we use that reference angle of 30 degrees, <clears throat> Uh, we can now say that sine of 30 would be equivalent to, if we look at this triangle here, opposite over hypotenuse would be 1 half. And if we look at, uh, consider the quadrant, so we have to apply this to that, that means that sine 150, which has the same reference angle, would also be positive a half. And you can actually check that on your calculator. Let me show it to you. Sine of 150 uh, does equal 0.5. <clears throat> All right, let's look at another one. A uh, cos of 225, so what we have to do is draw it in standard position and determine its reference angle. So if we had a 225 degree angle in standard position, uh, that would terminate in quadrant three. So here's 225 degrees. Its reference angle is 45 degrees, which we do know that we have a special triangle for. So its reference angle does exist within a special triangle. Um, <clears throat> And you could draw the measurements on here if you'd like to, 1, 1, and root 2. Or you could look at the measurements here. Uh, but the reference angle is equivalent to 45 degrees. So we know that cos of 45 degrees is equivalent to uh, adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 1 over root 2. However, what we need to consider again, and um, <clears throat> maybe I'll do this in a different color, is that only tan is positive in quadrant 3. So if we want to extend that towards the angle 225 degrees, we have to make it negative. So it's going to be negative 1 over root 2 because cos, the cos ratio is negative in quadrant 3. I can show you the answer to that. Uh, cos of 225 is equivalent to that, which I promise you is exactly the same as 1 divided by, or I should say negative 1 divided by the square root of 2. So there's the proof for you. So cos 225 is a negative ratio. All right, uh, a different type of problem is just doing the reverse. If you're given the ratio, can you determine an angle? Now, in this particular case, there's actually going to be two possible angles. Let me show you why. Um, it says solve for theta, and we want all of the answers between 0 and 360 degrees. Um, so if we look at this, the tan ratio is positive. And where is the tan ratio positive? It's positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 3. So we, we're going to have answers from standard position, which starts at 0 degrees. We're going to have answers in quadrant 1 between 0 and 90 degrees and in quadrant 3 between 180 and 270 degrees. The next thing we need to do is determine the reference angle. The reference angle is what? Well, if we have, we know that tan theta is equivalent to root 3 over 1 because root 3 is the same as root 3 over 1, which angle would have has an opposite of root 3 and adjacent of 1? If we look at it, uh, what that is is 60 degrees right here. Right, its opposite is root 3, its adjacent is 1. So we know that the reference angle 
is equivalent to 60 degrees. If I draw that reference angle in each of these quadrants, uh, it will become quite clear what the two answers are in standard position. And then I'll prove to you what the answer is. Um, so these reference angles are both 60 degrees. So in standard position, our answers would be 60 degrees as well as 240 degrees because that is uh, 180 plus the 60 degree reference angle. So our two answers are 240 and 60. So theta is equal to 60 degrees and 240 degrees. Uh, let's go ahead and see if that's true. If I take the tan of those two angles, I should get the same answer. Tan of 60, and I promise that's the square root of 3, and also tan of 240, same thing. Okay, uh, next question, it says, has a cost ratio being negative? So in advance of starting this problem, we should understand that since cost is positive in quadrants one and four, it's got to be negative in quadrants two and three. So that's for anticipating answers. The next thing we need to do is find out what the reference angle is and apply it. The reference angle, so what reference angle has an adjacent of one and a hypotenuse of, two, of root two? So if we look at that, uh, it's 45 degrees. It's got an adjacent of 1 and a hypotenuse of root 2. So the reference angle is 45 degrees. So finally, if we apply that reference angle, 45 degrees uh, in both of those two quadrants, if we want to find the standard position angle, it will be these two angles right here. So one of the angles, the first angle here would be 180 minus 45, which is 135 degrees. And the other angle would be 180 plus 45, and that would be equivalent to 225 degrees. So our two answers would be theta is equal to 135 degrees as well as 225. So there's two solutions. Let's check it. Let's just take the, sorry, let's take the cos of those two numbers. So if we take the cosine of 135, and the cosine of 225, they're both equivalent, and they're actually both equivalent to negative 1 over root 2, which is 0 0.707.